I thought I was going to die after my sister-in-law served me a dessert with nuts, even though she knew about my allergy. And when I confronted her, she laughed. This happened just a few days ago, and I'm still fuming about it. For context, I have a nut allergy. Not the grab an EpiPen kind. But it's bad enough to cause stomach cramps, nausea, and sometimes hives. It's no secret in my family. I've told everyone, including my sister-in-law, Emma, multiple times over the years. To be honest, Emma and I have never really gotten along. She's the kind of person who thrives on little passive-aggressive digs and can't seem to resist stirring the pot. I've always let it slide for the sake of keeping peace in the family. But this? This was next level. Emma invited everyone over for dinner, me, my brother, and a few other family members. I didn't really want to go, but I figured I could smile, nod, and survive a few hours of awkward conversation. Dinner itself was fine, nothing unusual. But then she brought out dessert, this gorgeous chocolate tart. Everyone was ooing and aahing over how amazing it looked. Now, I'm always careful about desserts because hidden nuts are my kryptonite. So I asked, hey, just checking, there's no nuts in this, right? Emma, with the sweetest smile, looked me right in the eyes and said, nope, you're good, no nuts at all. So I ate it. Within 10 minutes, my stomach started cramping like I'd swallowed a ball of fire. I knew something wasn't right. I asked her again, trying to keep my cool, are you absolutely sure there are no nuts in this? And she had the audacity to smirk and say, Oh, well, it has a little almond paste, but it's such a tiny amount, I didn't think it would matter. I froze. Almond paste. Almonds are nuts. She knew that. Everyone knows that. And she didn't just forget. It was the smirk, the casual tone, like it was no big deal. I could feel my face getting hot, partly from the anger and partly from the nausea that was creeping in fast. I grabbed my things and left. I didn't even bother explaining. I felt too awful to sit there and pretend everything was fine. I spent the rest of the night curled up in pain, wishing I hadn't trusted her. The next day, I called her to confront her. I told her flat out that what she did was irresponsible and dangerous. You know what her response was? She laughed. She actually laughed and said, You're being so dramatic. It's not like you're deathly allergic. I didn't think it would bother you. I snapped. I told her that if she couldn't respect something as basic as my health, then I wouldn't eat at her house ever again. Period. Now my brother is mad at me for embarrassing her and making a scene. He says I'm overreacting and that it was an innocent mistake. But was it? I don't think so. Emma has always had a way of poking at me and this feels deliberate. Like she wanted to prove a point or get under my skin. The family's divided. Some say I'm completely justified, while others think I should just let it go and move on. But here's the thing. It's not about being dramatic. It's about trust. When someone knowingly ignores something so serious, how am I supposed to feel safe around them? So, am I overreacting here? Or was I right to lose it? Update 1. So, things escalated in ways I didn't expect. After I posted, I decided to take a step back from everything and let the situation cool off but it seems Emma had other plans. She texted me the day after our confrontation saying, I don't know why you're making this such a big deal. It's not like I force-fed you nuts. You chose to eat it. That set the tone for what came next. I didn't reply because, honestly, what do you even say to something that dismissive? Instead, I forwarded the text to my brother and said, You really think this was an innocent mistake? He didn't respond right away, but a few hours later, I got a call from my mom. She wanted to mediate the situation because, apparently, Emma had been complaining about me blowing up her spot to the entire family. Here's the kicker. Emma was telling everyone that I fake overreacted to make her look bad. According to her, my allergy isn't even that serious, and I should have been fine because it was just a small amount. I guess she thought the best way to fix this was to turn the whole thing into a family-wide debate about whether I deserved to be mad or not. When my mom called, she started with, Honey, I know you were upset, but maybe Emma didn't realize how serious your allergy is. Couldn't you have just pulled her aside instead of making it a public thing? I asked her point blank, Why are we acting like this was a misunderstanding? 
She admitted there were nuts after I asked her twice and after I started getting sick. She knew I was allergic. My mom paused for a second and then said, Well, she probably didn't mean to hurt you. At that point, I couldn't keep my cool. I told her, Intentions don't matter when someone's negligence puts my health at risk. Would you be saying this if I had ended up in the hospital? Or is it only serious if I nearly die? She didn't have much to say after that and just kind of mumbled something about family sticking together before ending the call. But here's where things get really messy. Emma somehow found my Reddit post. I don't know how, maybe someone in the family lurks here, but she figured out it was me. She screenshotted parts of it and sent them to the family group chat with the message, so this is how my name chooses to handle things? By trashing me online? I didn't even know what to say. She was acting like I'd written a scathing expose about her when all I did was vent anonymously about something that actually happened. My brother immediately jumped in, saying, This is exactly what I was talking about. You're turning this into drama instead of resolving it like an adult. I wasn't about to let that slide, so I replied, Emma put me in a position where I had to leave her house in pain after she ignored my allergy. What part of that screams resolved to you? Cue a whole flurry of messages from various family members, most of them trying to play peacemaker, saying things like, Can we all just move on? And this is getting blown way out of proportion. A few people did stand up for me, though. One cousin chimed in with, If someone deliberately ignored my allergy, I'd be furious too. This isn't something you just move on from. At this point, the group chat devolved into chaos. My brother accused me of vilifying Emma, and I finally had enough. I left the group chat and texted him privately, saying, If you want to defend her, that's your choice. But don't expect me to sit quietly while she spreads lies about what happened. Yeah, things stayed quiet for a couple of days until I got a surprise phone call from Emma's coworker. Apparently, Emma has been complaining about this situation at work, too. But the way she's spinning it is wild. According to her, I'm obsessed with making her look bad and have been stirring up drama because I'm jealous of her relationship with my brother. I asked the coworker why she was even telling me this, and she said, Honestly, I just felt like you should know. The way she's talking about you is really mean, and it doesn't match the person you seem to be. That was validating, but it also made me realize just how far Emma is willing to go to make herself look like the victim. Now, my brother is doubling down on defending her. He's convinced that I'm the one keeping this drama alive by not apologizing for overreacting. Meanwhile, I've had other family members reach out privately to say they're on my side, but don't want to get involved publicly because they don't want to pick sides. At this point, I don't even care about the family politics. I've decided I'm not going to any event where Emma is present, and I've told my mom and brother as much. My health and peace of mind aren't negotiable. If they want to enable her behavior, that's on them. But here's the thing that keeps bothering me. Emma's casual dismissal of my allergy wasn't just reckless, it felt deliberate. The smirk, the way she minimized it afterward, and now her campaign to make me look like the bad guy all point to this being about more than just a dessert. I can't prove she did it on purpose, but I also can't shake the feeling that she wanted to prove my allergy wasn't a big deal. That's not just petty. It's dangerous. Right now, I'm focusing on setting boundaries and making it clear that I won't tolerate being treated like this again. If Emma wants to keep spreading her version of events, that's on her. I'm done trying to explain myself to people who don't want to listen. Update 2. So things have gotten even messier than I thought they would. After my last update, I thought I'd let things cool down a little, but clearly that wasn't going to happen. Emma has been on the warpath, and it's like she's trying to turn everyone against me. A few days after I left the group chat, my brother texted me, saying he needed to talk. I figured it was time to clear the air, so I agreed to meet up with him. When we sat down, it didn't go the way I expected. Instead of apologizing for his reaction, he started by saying, You really blew this out of proportion. You know Emma's not a bad person, right? I didn't even know how to respond. Like, how am I supposed to justify my feelings when he's not even acknowledging the real problem? I told him, it's not about her being a bad person. It's about her being reckless with my health. I have a serious allergy and she knew about it. The fact that she lied and then tried to brush it off like it was nothing is the problem. He just stared at me for a minute, then said, you don't get it, do you? Emma feels attacked by this and you're not even considering her side of things. At that point, I snapped. 
I told him, are you seriously more worried about how she feels than whether or not I end up in the hospital? What's next? Am I supposed to apologize to her for being mad about putting my health in jeopardy? He looked like I slapped him. Honestly, I don't think he even gets it. He's so wrapped up in defending her that he can't see how wrong her actions were. But the real kicker came when I got a message from my mom later that night. She said, We all talked, and we think you're overreacting. We just want you to make amends. Family is important, and this isn't worth breaking us apart. I couldn't believe it. Breaking us apart? What about Emma's behavior wasn't worth addressing? What about her deliberately downplaying my allergy and making me feel like my health didn't matter? I texted back, I'm not going to apologize for setting boundaries. If Emma can't respect my health, I won't be part of any family event with her in the future. I've made my stance clear, and I'm done pretending like this isn't a serious issue. Then came the phone call from Emma herself. She left me a voicemail that made my blood boil. She said, I'm tired of you acting like I'm some evil villain. I didn't mean to hurt you, but you're making this about you. Maybe you should think about how you treat people instead of just acting like a victim all the time. She had the nerve to play the victim card after what she did. I listened to that voicemail twice, and I couldn't believe how manipulative she sounded. She didn't apologize. She didn't even acknowledge that she'd messed up. She just acted like I was the one in the wrong for being upset. I can't stand this anymore. Emma's twisted version of events has become a full-blown narrative now, and I'm the villain in her story. Everyone in the family seems to be buying it, and I'm left looking like the unreasonable one because I'm sticking to my guns. I've heard from a few family members who've messaged me privately, telling me they support me and agree that Emma was wrong. They've said they just don't want to get involved in the drama, but they wish I would try to make things work for the sake of the family. I've heard this before, and I just can't. I don't want to keep playing nice when my health and well-being are on the line. The hardest part is knowing my brother is still on her side, even after all this. He told me he couldn't understand why I was making such a big deal of it, like it was just a simple mistake. I asked him, Would you feel the same if it was you who had the allergy? Or would you expect everyone to take it seriously? He didn't have a response. I don't know what else to do at this point. I've made it clear where I stand, and if the rest of my family wants to side with Emma and enable her behavior, I can't control that. But I can control how much energy I waste on trying to fix something that's broken. I'll keep you updated if anything else happens, but for now, I'm standing my ground. I'm done letting this slide. If Emma can't take responsibility for her actions, then I don't have the time or patience to keep pretending like everything is okay. Update 3. I can't believe I'm finally typing this, but it seems like things are winding down and I'm ready to wrap this whole ordeal up. I want to thank everyone for your support and for validating my feelings. It really helped me stay grounded through all the drama. Here's what happened after my last update. After a few more tense days, I decided I'd had enough of the endless back and forth. My brother kept trying to mediate between me and Emma, but it was clear that nothing was changing. He was still defensive of her, and she was still playing the victim. That's when I made the call. I told my brother I was done. I wasn't going to keep trying to fix a relationship that didn't seem worth saving anymore. I texted him. I've made my boundaries clear. If Emma can't respect them, I'm not going to keep pretending like I'm fine with how she treats me. I'm not asking for an apology. I'm asking for basic respect. He didn't reply for a while, which only made me more certain of my decision. When he finally did, he said, I understand, but this is going to cause a rift. You're isolating yourself from the family. I told him, I'm not isolating myself. I'm protecting my peace. And if the rest of the family can't see that, then I can't keep pretending that everything is okay. I didn't hear from Emma directly after that, and for a while I thought maybe she'd given up, but then I got a text from her. It was a long one, full of manipulative gaslighting. She wrote, I can't believe you'd throw away family over something so petty. You're always making everything about you, and I'm done trying to fix this. You should have just let it go. You're the one with the problem, not me. I didn't even feel the need to respond. It was the same old excuses— the same refusal to take responsibility. Honestly, reading it just solidified my decision to cut her off. But then, the most unexpected thing happened. My mom called me. She actually apologized. I was floored. 
she said, I've been thinking about everything, and I've realized I didn't support you the way I should have. I've been too focused on keeping the peace, but I see now that I was wrong. You were right to be upset. It wasn't much, but it meant everything to me. I wasn't asking for her to side with me against Emma, but hearing her acknowledge that Emma was in the wrong really helped. We talked for a while, and she told me that she'd be more supportive going forward, though she was still nervous about what it would do to the family dynamic. I told her that I wasn't going to let Emma's actions destroy my relationship with her, and that I'd be open to mending things if Emma was ever willing to own up to what she did. <laughs> the last piece of this puzzle came when my brother finally reached out again. He said, Look, I know things have been rocky, but I've been thinking about it and I get where you're coming from. You're not in the wrong here. I was shocked. He admitted that he'd been too focused on trying to keep everyone happy and hadn't truly considered how serious the situation was. He apologized for not backing me up sooner and said he understood why I couldn't just let it go. It felt like a small victory, but at this point it felt like enough to start rebuilding some bridges. As for Emma? Well, she's still acting like nothing happened. She hasn't reached out to apologize, and I don't expect her to. I'm done trying to please someone who so clearly doesn't care about me or my well-being. If she ever wants to make things right, she knows where to find me. But I'm not holding my breath. I've learned a lot through this, and the biggest lesson is that my health and peace of mind are worth more than trying to keep the peace with people who don't respect me. I've also learned to trust my gut more. When I feel like something's off, I shouldn't hesitate to speak up, even if it means upsetting a few people. Thanks again to everyone who offered advice and support. You helped me more than you know. I'll be taking a break from family events for a while, but I'm at peace with my decision. And for anyone dealing with similar situations, trust your boundaries, and don't let anyone downplay your concerns. You deserve respect, and if people can't give it to you, it's okay to walk away. <laughs>